Hey, this is Attorney Sarah Holmes of Holmes Business Law PC, and today we are talking about joint ventures versus partnerships. A lot of people come to us, and maybe it's someone that already owns their own business, they have an LLC or other entity set up, and they have now discussed with someone else that they want to go into some type of business relationship. However, usually the person on the other side also is running and owns their own business already. Again, it could be an LLC, it could be a corporation, and the parties are confused as to how they're really gonna do business together. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna form a new LLC together and really truly be equity business partners where each side owns a percentage of the business? Or could they do something else? Maybe something more like a joint venture agreement. So what's really the difference between the two? Well, in actuality, a lot of the terms that we end up putting in um, multi-member LLC operating agreements are similar terms as to what we put into a joint venture agreement. What we like to tell people though, is that we feel it's easier to keep your underlying business separate and insulated in a joint venture agreement. The joint venture agreement is usually for the parties to come together, often each has their own LLCs, and they can figure out ways where they can uh, split expenses in a new venture, they can split marketing costs, they could split some staff costs, and really work on ways where they could be affiliated together and do business together, but not necessarily overlap ownership of their underlying businesses. So a joint venture could really be something to consider when the parties have original businesses that belong to them that they, that they don't want to jeopardize or really expose to the new business partner. So of course, if you need help figuring out a joint venture or partnership agreement, you can feel to reach out to our office. Our number is 215-482-0285. Thanks.